Uh, sorry the camera's off. Hi, low vision for those who don't know, but don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Today, I want to let you know you can do whatever you put your mind to. I'm serious. You can do whatever you put your mind to. I have low vision. I can give you a little story of my life and all the things that I have accomplished and some things that I have tried to accomplish that didn't work out. So enough, number one. When I was younger, I had better vision than I do now. So I was able to do more, but I still had low vision. But more of the story is I didn't let it stop me. So the point is, I rode a mini bike all around. I rode a gas power three or I rode a bicycle all around my town and all around the places and everything like that. I also ran during gym class independently without the cane. And I did pretty well. And I also did other things. I used to go for walks. I used to go for hikes to the woods. I used to do all kinds of things. Hang out with friends. We used to go hiking. We used to go swimming. We used to build forts and all Facebook. kinds of cool stuff. Gathering. But the most important thing is to let you all know. As I got older, right? I started to figure, no, I can do more in this. Let's see what I can push myself to. No, I, I love cars. Let's see if I can do automotive. Poof. Did it. 95 in automotive school. Perfect. Succeeded. Then I said, you know what? I'm going to build a door jam for my home that I own. I don't need to buy a pre-hung door jam. I'll do it out two by four and build a real one, not out of that thin, cheap wood that they sell the pre-hung doors with. And I built it, measured it. I have a talk tape measure. And guess what? I succeeded by using effort and looking at the old door jam that was on the other door because my home had a slider door in the back of the house, but for the back bedroom, but the other bedroom had a regular door. So I looked at that and figured out how it was built. And I went to my room in the back and I said, no, my stepfather used to do contractor who passed away. I learned some stuff from him. I learned some, some talented stuff from a lot of amazing people. And I built the door jam, and the door actually opened and closed, and I was amazed. I'm like, <laughs> watch, once I put this door up, it's going to hit or something's going to be wrong. But I used my talk and tape measure and did patience, and it worked. It opened and closed like it was supposed to, with no issues. Now, going back in time a little bit, my mom got in a car wreck with a car, smashed the radiator support in the hood, and all that stuff got smashed. I rebuilt it, got a parked car for 300 bucks. Swapped all the parts, rebuilt it, and did it all independently on my own. Now, there have been other tasks I have done that have failed. <laughs> my first time ever cooking, I was a kid. You're all going to laugh at this. I wanted to surprise my mom make mac and cheese. Power went out, so we had a wood stove. Well, I went to go make mac and cheese. I can cook now, mac and cheese. <laughs> I know the right way now. But back in the day, like, I was young. You know, when you're a kid, you tried help. Well... <laughs> It was mush and cheese. I mixed the cheese with the water. You guys are going to laugh at that one, but that that's a funny part. But you always succeed, and sometimes you make error, but you have to succeed. That's the more of that story. But here comes another thing. There's a tree across the driveway. Everybody said I need a chainsaw to cut it when it fell. I said, you know what? Mom, don't call in there. Give me three days, and I'll get the tree out. I don't believe in using power tools because I have low vision. All my automotive work, I do ma with manual tools. It might take a little while longer, but you know what? It gets done the right way without stripping so I can hear if something goes right or if it slips, I can feel it. So I won't strip no bolts or anything like that. Well, long story short, the tree fell across the driveway. I went out and got my hand saw. <laughs> and mind you, I cut wood with sawzall and I have electric sawzall when I used to cut wood for my mom and I. And we lived in an old house out in Steventown. We heated a home with wood. And my two step nieces lived there with us. And I cut firewood and stuff like that. Well, this tree was cross driver. I didn't want the landlord to get it because I knew he would make it into firewood for himself because he had his own fireplace at his place too. So I said, no, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to drag it up to the house. Then I'm going to cut it the rest of the way with my chainsaw so I was cutting this tree in half just so we could get the car out of the driveway it took three days because our drive was a mile and a half off the road well long story short it took me three days and I cut that sucker down because what I did it fell but it was still connected like it bent and it was like wedged past other trees because our driveway went through the woods so I'm like I'll get this so I cut right in the center then I slid the tree sideways on both ends 
It took me three days to cut through because that wasn't no small tree. I started when I was out there. I'm like, oh, I ain't going to be able to do this. I'm going to have to call a land there. But I'm like, I ain't going to tell Bob. Let's keep going a couple more. Then the third day I went, I'm like, you know what? I can get this. I know I can. Look how far through I am. And I did it. Effort. You can do anything when you put your mind to something. That's the thing to let you all know. You can do whatever you put your mind to because I did and it worked. Now here's another thing. I got a Power Wheels. Yes, not for me to ride. But I did an experiment. I said, I'm going to see if I can put an electric motor on it and make this thing fast. So I took the wheels off the plastic wheels, put real metal wheels on, put a real metal axle across, right? And then redid the whole thing, redid the handlebars and everything. I, I literally, like, cut the thing apart and redid it. Just kept, like, the fenders, the seat, and stuff like that. Re redid it all. I said, no, what? And I'm like thinking, my, I don't know what my mom is like, this boy is lost. And I don't know what the beehive he's doing. But long story short, it worked. <laughs> it worked. I had real quad tires on the thing, like lawnmower tires or quad tires, those kinds of rims. Because I had a whole bunch of rims laying around. So I used that. And then I got a piece of metal, cut it across, put a spindle on everything, hooked the chain to it. and put a real electric motor on for an old electric mower. And the thing worked. It moved. But I had to put brakes on, of course, because power wheels don't have brakes. <laughs> That's one downfall to the first time trying it out. But then I got brakes, put it on, everything like that, and it worked. When you make something, sometimes the first time you try something, it don't succeed. Sometimes you have to try like 10, 15 times, 30 times. Look at that tree. It took me three days and I was counting for hours each and then taking breaks and going back and cutting. And it took me a while to cut that sucker down. But I did it. The more of the story is it might take time. You might have to do it 20, 40, 50 times till you figure out a way to do it and get it done. But the point is if you put your mind to something and you know you can do it and you think positive, even when the table's not might not be in your favor and it might look like it's gonna be harder to do on your own you need assistant i'm telling you you put your mind to something you can do whatever you put your mind to but i wanted to let you all know that then you all can hear some more amazing stories about triers and errors and things i have succeeded on in later videos this is a video to show you can do whatever you put your mind to what effort you can i i write songs and I never thought I'd be doing that, but I had a very good person who got me into doing that and stuff like that. And I post them up to SoundCloud, Spotify, and stuff like that. And I look forward to y'all seeing them too. And I do so many awesome videos. Check out my channel. I promise you won't regret it. I do vacation destinations. You might have to scroll down a ways to see all my vacation destinations, but I'm going to start doing some more soon. I'm going to be going to Lake George soon. I'm going to do a YouTube video on Lake George. New York, so y'all can see it. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next cool video. Stay safe out there on all seven continents, 195 countries. And become a Global Citizen member. I am myself. Look it up. Ask your phone. What is a Global Citizen member? And if you want to become one, you can. I'm not telling you you have to. I am one myself. And I highly recommend it to you. Look forward to seeing you all in the next cool video. Stay safe out there. And remember, you can do whatever you put your mind to, and you are perfect the way y'all. See y'all in the next cool video.